You're about to play Hunt, a match-based monster hunting game. To begin, you're going to hire a hunter. Select hunters and then recruit. Different hunters have different strengths, tools and weapons. You'll learn the benefits of these as you become more experienced with the game. Click the hire button under the hunter you want to recruit. On the right side of the screen is the current inventory of the hunter. Click Equipment. Here you will find your weapons, your tools, which are multi-use items such as electric lamps or a first aid kit, and consumables, which are one-time use items such as fire bombs, dynamite, concertina bombs, etc. If you like, you can go to the store and purchase some additional equipment for your mission. Let's buy an electric lamp. Once you've bought the items you want, click Equipment and equip the items into the relevant slots. When you're done, press play. You can now select a mission from the list. Each mission has a different layout, time of day and target. Press accept and then ready. If you're feeling brave, you can play solo or invite a friend from Steam. For now, you will be matched with another random player who will be your teammate during the mission. The game begins. Have a look around. Hunt is a sandbox environment. You can go wherever you like. Out there somewhere are the other players looking for the same targets. Keep your eyes and ears open. Use the mouse wheel or numbers to select various equipment. To melee, press left mouse button. To heavy melee, hold the left mouse button. To aim, hold the right mouse button and then click the left mouse button to fire. To aim more precisely, hold shift. You will be using your map a lot, which you can open and close with the tab key. The map shows your current location, the location of your teammate, resupply points for ammo and health, compounds, one of which will contain your target, and exit points. More on exit points later. Now, it is possible to locate your target by just searching all the compounds one by one. Possible, but risky. As we say around here, reckless players are dead players. A better approach is to find clues to help narrow down your target's location. Press and hold the E key. This will activate your dark sight. Dark sight enables you to see the general area where a clue is located. Once you have a fix on a clue, you can head towards it, keeping track of the clue direction with your map and compass. Remember, everything you do here has an effect on the world. Other players can not only see you, but hear you, so watch your step. When your partner speaks, you'll see his icon flashing, but you must be physically close enough to actually hear him. When you are close to the clue, your dark sights will flicker like this. Once you have located a clue, use the F key to interact with it. Look at your map. You'll notice that the area of possible target locations has shrunk. Now go and find a second and third clue to narrow down the target location even further. Getting closer. Open the map once more, and there is the compound containing the target. Now it's time to engage. Get ready for a tough fight. If your partner is injured, you can use your med kit to heal him. Select the kit and apply it like this. If your partner is downed completely, you can revive him with the F key. Every time a player is revived, he permanently loses a health chunk and can only be revived if he has at least one chunk remaining. This is shown on the indicator here. Once you have killed the target, the banishment phase takes place, where the monster is sent to hell. During this phase, every other player's map shows the banishment location and therefore where you are. Be on guard and ready to defend your position. Once the banishment phase is complete, grab your loot. Each monster drops two tokens, one for you and one for your partner. You can only carry one from each monster. Tokens are easily trackable by the other players using their map or dark sight which means when you pick one up, you are trackable too. You now need to escape. Remember those exit points on the map? Get to one as fast as you can. Extracting with your partner saves you more time, 
and increases your bounty, so don't leave anyone behind. If you survived your first game of Hunt, you can upgrade your Hunter. Under the Hunter menu, press Upgrade. You can add hit points and traits using upgrade points that you accumulated during the game. You can also stock up on consumables and perhaps even buy a new weapon or two. If you can afford it, of course. If you find yourself rather short of cash, you might not be able to afford to hire another hunter. In this case, you will be offered what's called a Tier 0 Recruit. This is a basic character that doesn't permit loadout or traits to be customised, but should be enough for you to start building valuable XP and cash again. A Tier 0 character will automatically become a normal Tier 1, so long as you level up with them. If you died in the last game, then you get to keep your cash and some XP, but everything else is gone, I'm afraid. Plus you'll lose any cash from the bounty if you're carrying it. As you play Hunt, you build up your bloodline. Your bloodline XP is never lost, even if you die. And as your bloodline increases, you can use it to unlock new gear and traits. The summary screen here will tell you how your bloodline is doing and the rewards you are earning. Achieved with CryEngine.